Okay, it's uh, Sunday, December 23rd, 11 a.m. They are officially four weeks old. They had their nails retrimmed yesterday, and as you can see, they're getting way more active. And interested in the toys, one of their kind of favorite toys is um, dragging these hand towels around. The larger towels obviously are for uh, cleaning up any puppy little piddle spots so I can keep this area scrupulously clean. And oh look at somebody decided to go pee on the, to on the tidy paper, the towel. You can use a towel as long as it has a little bit of pee in it. The puppy will return to that spot to try to pee. Of course, try to get avoid having them get pee in their carpet. If you, they do, really, really clean that. Use vinegar, whatever it takes to get the smell out. Because if they pee once on carpet area, they will try to return. And now, as you can see, we have two puppies trying to eat my feet. And I'm going to have to move a lot. Shoot. Now puppies want to chew my wire for my power supply for my camera. This is going to be amusing. I'm going to have to start using battery only. Oh. There. Leave my power supply alone. Mike, if you could try to get the puppies more in camera range rather than at my feet. That would be phenomenal. My grandson's Mike's still here for a couple more days. Oh, somebody's eating. Yeah, if you just if you're just there, they'll gravitate towards you because they like you. And now we're back to eating. We've done our exploring. Uh, have, it's 11 in the morning. I haven't weighed them yet. Yesterday they were, do you remember, was it 6 pounds, 9 ounces in that area? 6 pounds, 11 ounces yesterday. Uh, 6, 14, 6, the third born boy was 6, 14 and a half. The girl was 6, 11. Then the sable guy was 6, 9. And of course, these weights are not... Uh, anything close that uh, kennel and that way they can't run in there though these, these weights are not um, locked in stone but uh, because it all depends on when they peed or pooed or ate recently it can make a difference of a number of ounces and I forgot to take the uh, scale out that we could weigh them in front of you and I can't hold the camera and get the scale, so, oh well. Unless you want to get the scale, Mike, from where it is. And then we could weigh them. You see where the scale is. We could tell people what they weigh, having freshly eaten. Yeah, you got to put that clean. I always try to have a clean puppy bowl, rather than delivering them any food in a bowl that was used previously. That's why I have lots of bowls. Yeah, we're using a little box to, you can weigh them randomly, one at a time, and then report. Okay, you're doing the girl first, and then just holler out the, the weight. What is it? It's seven something. Seven. Seven, seven on the nose? Yep. Okay, so the girl weighs now seven on the nose, and the sable child is... You can see they're really getting into the toys. <clears throat> the boy actually, the black and tan boy, was actually the first to start carrying the toys. Followed by the bla the sable boy who started carrying around the toys. 614. And the black and tan boy who's not wearing a collar. I bet he weighs seven something. Seven five. 
So 614, 7, and 7.5. I'll write that down when I'm not doing the camera. Okay. We've got to watch for puppy toes because they sure like to... There we go. You'll notice that they've got the smaller toys. Because if you give them great big humongous toys that are heavier than they can lift, it's no fun. And they have already learned the joys of being picked up and cuddled and held. And they are very interested in exploring everything they can explore. And they like to graze, eat a little bit, play a little bit get picked up. Look at toys. So the, that's Little Dora the Explorer Girl and Sable Boy. <coughs> and that's Black and Tan Boy. And you see every day they're getting a little more tan. The Black and Tan guys get a little more tan, a little more tan. And that's a normal progression. But they are going to have those pencil toes, which is, I think, very attractive. And a lot of other people think so too. And you don't you very often see black and tan dogs, adult dogs, with pencil toes. It's a little bit of a anomaly. And wrestling and beating each other up is a fun activity. And I've got a... Abigail is barking probably at the neighbor dog. She's outside. I'm going to have to tell her to be quiet. But I can't do everything at once. And... As you can see, they're all pretty much the same. They play with toys. They're not afraid. They're, they're, they like to be cuddled. Uh, they've all been given the same nurturing. And they've all pretty much got similar characters. Oh, somebody is dragging around the towel, as you can see. Dragging the towel that the brown sable boy is doing is a pretty popular activity. And now the little red pink collar girl is saying, I'm going to lie down on the towel and then you can't drag it. She was th thinking of helping, but now she's going to lie on it. And the other black and tan boy saying, and do you have something interesting to play with? Maybe I'll play with it too. Oh, you, you, you were doing something different. Anything can be a toy. Anything that makes different noise. Anything new. Okay. Oh, we're going to bark at this strange thing. It might be. It, the, the, bark, the barker is the black and tan boy. It might be something scary. And he might be barking because he's learning to do so from mom. A stranger's coming. And the sable boy is now barking, letting everyone know what a tough puppy he is. And they better not come and bother his house. And, okay, we'll have some time for food. You notice that um, Pink Collar Girl is now wearing a, a more grown-up puppy Velcro collar. Because those thinner Velcro collars are more for newborn up to four weeks of age. And now she's graduated to a little more sturdy, bigger sized Velcro adjustable collar. Okay, let's bother my feet. I can't take puppies when you're, when you're at my feet. And they are... Uh-oh, what has she got? She's got Paul's charging cord 
he let it drop on the floor and of course anything that's on the floor becomes potentially a puppy toy oh come on you guys uh -uh. no biting my ankles uh -uh. okay well I guess I'm going to stop this video because I can't shoot when they're all at my feet and they all want attention from grandma and my cord is in the way oh well maybe they'll go see something else what is that noise So have you got your overload of cuteness for today? I hope so. I'm going to end this video and it'll take about... You might get the video by 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Because it takes quite a long time with my internet connection to get it uploaded properly to YouTube and let you see it. Which is why I try to take them in the morning so that you can get it by... The evening. Oh, but the boy now is dragging around that towel. Towel dragging is quite the popular activity. So, yeah, I think you've just seen a pretty good sample of what they're doing and how they're doing and how they're growing. Healthy as can be. And I'll stop the video. Have a good day.